gravitational wave. What is gravitational wave actually? It's a ripple in the fabric of space and time. Imagine that space is a giant sheet of rubber. Things that have mass cause their rubber sheet to bend, like a bowling ball on a trampoline. The more mass, the more that space gets bent and distorted by gravity. For example, the reason the Earth goes around the Sun is that the Sun is very massive, causing a big distortion of the space around it. If you just try to move in a straight line around such a big distortion, you will find yourself actually moving in a circle. That's how orbits works. There's not an actual force pulling the planets around it. Just a bending of the space. Gravitational waves are produced whenever masses accelerate, changing the distortion of the space. Everything with mass and or energy can make the gravitational waves. If you and I start dancing around each other, we will also cause ripples in the fabrics of space and time. But these would be extremely small, practically undetectable. Now, gravity is very weak in the scale of the other forces in the universe. So, you need something really, really, really massive moving very, very fast to make the big ripples that we can detect. Then, how would you observe a ripple in space? If the space between you and me stretch or compress, we wouldn't notice it if we had made marks on our metaphorical rubber sheet. For example, Usually using equally spaced rocks because these marks would also get stretched further apart. But there is one ruler that doesn't get stretched when made using the speed of light. If the space between two points gets stretched, then light will take longer time to go from one point to another point. And if the space gets squeezed, light takes less time to cross the two points. This is where the LIGO experiment comes in. It has 4 kilometers long channels and uses lasers to measure the changes in the distance between the ends of the channels. When a gravitational wave comes through, it stretches space in one direction and squeezes space in the other direction. By measuring the interference of the lasers as they bounce between the different points, Physicists can measure very precisely whether the space in between has stretched or compressed. And the precision needed is incredible. To detect a gravitational wave, you need to be able to tell when something changes in length by a few parts in 10 to the power of 23. It's like being able to tell that a stick one sextillionth meters Long has shrunk by 5 millimeters only. The effect of gravitational wave is so minuscule and easily confused with random noise, and you need a smart data analysis technique to do it. Scientists hope to identify the patterns of gravitational waves by comparing the wiggle they measure in the experiment to the wiggle they expect from the gravitational wave. That's like trying to identify a song being hummed in a noisy party, a very, very noisy party. Imagine that your whole life you had been deaf until one day your hearing was restored. You'd be able to explore the universe in this whole new way. That's why detecting gravitational waves is so significant. It's a completely new way of studying the universe. Anytime there's a new way to observe the universe, we discover things that we didn't expect. It's really about looking for new things that we didn't know, that we didn't know existed. Examining the extra edges of our knowledge of physics and testing our theories about how the universe works. Okay guys, that is a slight introduction to the theory of gravitational waves. We will discuss this more in our Zoom session and also WhatsApp session. Thank you for watching. 
See you again. Bye bye.